everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video, back for a new shelf. Yes, we're on Unlucky for Some, shelf number 13. I was born on a 13th, so I must be lucky. <laughs> Maybe not for my mum and dad, though. Anyway, yes, let's get on to see what I've got on shelf 13. Shelf 13 is a mixture of some still books with some 4Ks and some recent pickups as well, kind of like an overflow shelf. But uh, anyway, let's get on, have a look, see what we've got. Okay, so in no particular order, I'm just gonna go as I stacked them on the shelf thing here. First one up uh, is a film that I really wanna see now after watching Little Monsters. I kind of get the same kind of vibe for it. It's called Cooties with Elijah Wood. It kind of looks the same type of thing. So, uh, fun, funny and gory. Please don't feed the children. Feed them to what? <laughs> Sounds a bit like Gremlins, not after midnight. Also has uh, Rain Wilson as well. So yes, looking forward to that. Does look really funny. So I shall watch that one shortly. Uh, next up, we have a Tom Hanks movie, which is a recent pickup, uh, starring as Fred Rogers, not Ted Rogers, you know, three, two, one. This is about uh, an American like, children's entertainer. Um, I won't say probably like our Jimmy Savile, because that would be the wrong sort of thing to say, but um, I don't know who would be our equivalent. Probably the bloke who did Rainbow or something, I don't know. Uh, but uh, apparently I need to watch the documentary on this first to understand who he is because it's all very well releasing a Tom Hanks movie based on a real life character or a real life, you know, person. But when you don't know who the hell he is, it doesn't really help. So, yes, I shall watch the documentary on Netflix first, all about this Fred Rogers, and then maybe I'll get a better insight on how Tom Hanks is playing the role. Next up, we have a film from director Bong Joon-ho. Yep, the same director of, as Parasite. This is called The Host. So it looks a bit monsterish. It's Jaws via Jurassic Park. So I can imagine some big monsters and kind of Godzilla type of stuff. So yes, I look forward to watching that one. Uh, another recent pickup, uh, which Jamie Powell pointed me in the right direction of uh, because I think this is out of print now. This is a Martin Scorsese film called Cape Fear with Robert De Niro, Nick Nolte and Jessica Lang. I haven't seen it in a very long time but I have maybe only seen half of it actually. I don't think I've seen the whole film but uh, it'd be interesting to see that. It's always good watching Robert De Niro playing an absolute maniac. Next up, we have another recent uh, pickup. Uh, this is Vin Diesel in Bloodshot and uh, in a nice black case. I'll put this in a nice black case. So it's not the 4K, uh, it's actually the Blu-ray, but looks good in a, in a black case. So yeah, I look forward to watching that. It didn't get brilliant reviews. It's got Guy Pearce in it, but um, it might be my sort of thing. And uh, next up, we have uh, a film that was sent to me by one of my lovely viewers, along with a load of Studio Ghibli titles as well. Uh, and I mistakenly titled this as a Studio Ghibli, where it's not. This is Song of the Sea, and I actually really enjoyed this. Lovely heartwarming tale, great am animation. I thought it was really good, but... Uh, I'm looking forward to actually watching some Studio Ghibli's. I haven't actually, I, I'm a Studio Ghibli virgin at the moment. Yes, I haven't seen one at all, but they are on shelf 14. So when we get to shelf 14, you'll see all the ones that were sent to me. Next up, uh, we have a bit of Kevin Bacon. Gotta be footloose, footloose. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, and with John Lithgow, brilliant in this. Uh, there is a remake of this. Um, probably, yeah. I haven't seen it, but uh, the original 80s classic is the best. 
what we got next. Oh yes, continuing my Kevin Smith collection, I picked up Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. This is one of my favourites. Uh, I just love when Ben Affleck gets in here with with uh, Matt Damon and you get all like Jason Lee, Chris Rock and, and so many characters. So it is a really good, really good film. Really funny. Um, I do want to get Dogma on Blu-ray, but I'm not spending a couple of hundred quid on it because it is seriously out of print. And next up, we have a great film with Chris Pine and Ben Foster uh, and Jeff Bridges as well. Hell or High Water. This is a great film. An action-packed thriller. Fantastic. About a couple of two brothers that are trying to, sell, uh, trying to save the family farm from going into liquidation and being, you know, bought, by, bought back by the bank. Uh, they decide to actually rob the bank or rob the banks. Really great performance. Uh, next up, we have a 4K. Uh, this 4K box set I picked up fairly cheap. I can't remember how much, but it was cheaper than what it's advertised at. This is The Mummy. So this is The Mummy Trilogy in 4K. I do also have The Mummy Trilogy, The Book of the Dead from Everything Blue. Uh, but I wanted to pick up the, uh, the 4Ks as well. So I'm really happy. I like the design of that. Really great design. And then we have uh, an original collector's set. Includes both the theatrical and director's cut of the version. Uh, from Guillermo de Toro. Yes. Hellboy. I think this is maybe an HMV exclusive. I might be mistaken. But uh, it's a nice box set with fold out. Bits and pieces and books and cards and postcards and all that kind of stuff. I need to try and find a protective case for this because it's kind of like half steelbook size and half blue fan size. Uh, and it's either too big to go in a steelbook one or too small to go in a blue fans one. So I need to try and find something in, uh, in between for that. Next up, uh, another great... 4K. Uh, this is the 35th anniversary edition. Includes the 4K and the uh, poster, the art cards, all that kind of stuff. This is E.T. the Extraterrestrial and this has a really nice lenticular cover. Love that edition, as you can see on the back there. Yep, so that's E.T. And then uh, we dive into my Guy Ritchie movies. Starting off with Probably the best one. Lock, stock and two smoking barrels. Absolutely fantastic. Jason Fleming, Dexter Fletcher, Jason Statham, Vinnie Jones. Fantastic. Absolutely love that film. Uh, next up, we have probably the second best Guy Ritchie movie, Snatch. Again, great cast. Brad Pitt, Vinnie Jones. Uh, Jason Statham, Benicio Del Toro, and a very squeaky dog. <laughs> I just love these films. Guy Ritchie does it best when he does these British gangster films. So, yeah. Um, if he just did British gangster films for the rest of his career, I would be perfectly happy. Uh, and, of course, topping it off, The Gentleman, which I saw at the cinema about January, I think maybe mid to late January, before all the pandemo pandemonium started and everything. Uh, Matthew McConaughey, um, who we got in here? Colin Farrell. Oh yeah, Charlie Hannum was brilliant in this, and Hugh Grant. Yeah. Hugh Grant, like you've never seen Hugh Grant before. This is a 4K. Uh, it didn't come with a slipcover, but it's in a black case, so I'll put the others in a black case. So that they all match, so I think they look good. Another film that I saw at the beginning of the year, either January or February, absolutely fantastic film, Jojo Rabbit. Absolutely love that film. Uh, so funny, but also touching in places as well. And a great screen Hitler. <laughs> 
another really great film which I love from start to finish. I love the soundtrack. I love the look of it. Uh, the action sequences are fantastic. Baby Driver. I do also have a steel book for this, but uh, I had the regular edition and I thought, do you know what? That might look nice in a pink case. It does. So I have that edition. The next up, a bit of uh, 80s action adventure in the vibe of kind of like Indiana Jones sort of thing. Uh, first of all, we have Romance in the Stone with Michael Douglas and Kathleen Turner. Must watch this. I haven't seen this probably in about 20 years. And rounding it off, Jewel of the Nile. And again, another great film. Also with the addition of Danny DeVito. Um, some people say you should get the third film in the trilogy, uh, War of the Roses. But I really don't consider that to be a third film in the trilogy. Uh, because they're playing completely different characters and it's a completely different setting. So... There are only two films at the moment, just like Nicolas Cage in National Treasure. But thankfully, we've got National Treasure 3 coming up. So who knows? We may get a third film sometime. Next up, we have one of the Predator movies. Uh, one of the Predator films that I actually really do enjoy with Adrian Brody. Uh, and you kind of feel like, hang on, Adrian Brody playing the lead action hero role you kind of don't get that vibe because he's not exactly built like arnie or stallone but he pulled it off really well he was really good in predators from roger uh, robert Rodri rodriguez i think it's really good i think it's a really good predator film Next up, a uh, nice bit of Angelina Jolie, Morgan Freeman and James McAvoy in Wanted, the steel book. Uh, this one actually has a printed back, but uh, I love the uh, the cover of that. That looks really good. I uh, hope they do a sequel to this. I don't know if they are planning to, but it would be really good if they did a sequel. Uh, then I picked up this steel book. I, I did enjoy this film. Uh, so did Lulu and so did Claire when we went to the cinema to see it with Jennifer Lawrence. This is Red Sparrow. And I picked this steel book up for about £5 from Zavi. Seriously ridiculous price. I do actually also have the 4K, but a steel book for five quid. That's insane. And then we have uh, another Guy Ritchie film. These Next two. These two Guy Ritchie films are actually really good. Uh, and I do believe there is a third film coming, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, this is uh, Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law in Sherlock Holmes. This is a German still book, as you can see from the ratings logo there. It's also printed on the back, but I liked how it looked. Nice spine as well. And then we have Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows still book as well. Again, a really nice still book. And then we've got a bit of uh, Shailene Woodley. Or Woody? Woodley? Woodley, isn't it? Yes, uh, Divergent. I actually enjoy this as much as I enjoy The Hunger Games um and also the maze runner movies and i think there was supposed to be another film a fourth film in this series to to finish the story off but i don't think the third one did too well at the box office and they decided not to bother but i think it may be going as a tv series a limited tv series with a completely different cast though so it's a bit unfortunate because i'd like to see the conclusion with the main cast but that's uh that's divergent uh, we also have Allegiant, another nice still book. And we also have Insurgent as well. And that's got some sweet embossing and uh, spot gloss and stuff like that on it. So I enjoy that one as well. I do enjoy all three of those films. Next up, uh, we have some kick-ass. Yes. Um... 
it's kind of an okay still book, kind of. Uh, I could have done a lot better, to be perfectly honest. Uh, especially they could have removed all that rubbish and maybe embossed all this and glossed it and everything. But yeah, it's it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it does have a printed back though, and I really not that hot on printed backs for still books. But at least it's in English, so I can read it. But uh, yeah, that's kick ass. I did have Kick-Ass 2 still, but, but I sold it for a really good price. Next up, uh, we have a film uh, written for the screen and directed by the Coen brothers, starring Jeff Bridges, Matt Damon and Josh Brolin. True Grit, and this is a remake of the original film. This is a good film, a really good Western film. And I believe, I believe the little girl in it uh, is actually the girl from Bumblebee. I can't remember her name, but I'm pretty sure it's the same girl. Next, uh, we have a, uh, a still book that I probably bought um, probably more than six or seven years ago, and I've still not seen it. <laughs> I'm terrible. This is Ender's Game, so I've not seen this film, even though it's got one of my favourite actors of all time in it, Harrison Ford. But uh, I think this was a, an HMV exclusive. This is a very glossy and uh, debossed title down there. A bit of embossing on the back. So looks good. I should really watch it. Next up is a film directed by Roland Emmerich that I believe is Jean-Claude Van Damme's best film. There's two that I think Jean Damme is best in. Uh, some of you may disagree with me. You know, there's a lot more Jean-Claude Van Damme films out there, but the ones I get the most fun from are Time Cop, which is a fantastic uh, film, and Universal Soldier with Dolph Lundgren. And I've not bothered to watch any of the sequels. Uh, they're all mishmash, although there is one sequel where they are both back. Um... Universal Soldier Revenge or something. If you know what it's called, stick it down in the comments. And is it any good? Is it worth picking up? But uh, this is an uncut version as well. This is a German steel book with a German printed back as well. Next up, we have a bit of Roland Emmerich Godzilla action. In the 1998, I believe it was, version of Godzilla. And I have fun with this. I love this Godzilla movie, no matter what anybody says. I think it's a great load of fun. Lots of humour. And we have some uh, Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman in The Shawshank Redemption. Still book. Really nice still book. I think this might have some art cards in it, actually. Let's have a look. Yes, it does. So we've got some nice inside artwork, uh, one disc, and some art cards. So very nice. Do, you, do like that film. That and the Green Mile. Next up, a bit of Arnie action. This is a limited edition steelbook. This is Maggie. Really great. I actually need to remove some of these because I've still got the, uh, the pr protective seals on these, which makes it very dark, dull. So I need to go through a few of those and remove some of that shortly. Next up, uh, we have a really great sci-fi horror film. Uh, special Collector's Edition with Sam Neill and Lawrence Fishburne. I hope this really does get a 4K uh, treatment because it is a fantastic fantastic film this is event horizon love that film and a bit of clint eastwood in one of my favorite clint eastwood movies gran torino love that and then uh, we have a steven spielberg movie that's just okay. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more. But it's a nice heartwarming family tale, but it's not a brilliant Spielberg movie. 
It's the BFG, the big fat git. Yes. Although Mark Violence is brilliant. But uh, yeah, it could have been a lot better. And then we have a film starring Saoirse Ronan, Eric Banner and Kate Blanchett, which now actually has a TV series on Amazon Prime, I believe, which I haven't seen. It's either on Amazon or Netflix. Hannah. That's a brilliant film. I love that film. I really do need to watch the TV series, actually. And then um, another bit of Guy Ritchie action. I haven't seen this one, so I can't comment if it's any good. Uh, stars Charlie Hannam and Jude Law. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. I think it's kind of like a modern day re of the uh, of the story. But I definitely need to watch that one. And then uh, one of the best Will Smith films, but with a bit of ropey CGI. I am legend. Yes, I am legend. Uh, absolutely love this film. I love how he carries the entire film, pretty much the same as Tom Hanks in Cast Away. But the dog scene, oh my God, that was hard to watch. Next up, a bit more action, uh, female action from Jennifer Garner this time in Peppermint. Nice steel book there. Um, this actually doesn't have a printed back. I've just put the J card in there. This is the, I believe this is the French steel book edition. Although the title is actually there the right way. <laughs> so I don't know what happened there. But uh, yes, it's not bad. It's a pretty good film, pretty good action film. Next up, uh, Sam Rockwell in an absolutely fantastic film. Again, a bit like I Am Legend, you know, with Will Smith being on his own and Tom Hanks being on an island on his own. This time we have some, uh, Sam Rockwell on the moon, kind of on his own uh, for the first part of the film anyway. But uh, I love how this story played out. It was genius. Uh, I never saw it coming, and uh, it's just a, it's a joy to watch. There is a 4K for that as well, but I actually don't have it. The last two, uh, I'm going to put a smile on Jamie Powell's face. Yes, so the first one we have is It Chapter 1, the 4K steelbook. Really great film. Uh, I love this film. This gives me the happy, kind of goony, stand-by-me feel to it. And and Stranger Things as well. But uh, Pennywise is... all oh, Pennywise is good. And of course, you can't have one without the other. Chapter 2, still book. And I love how that wraps around. Fantastic. I actually don't have the still book for the original... Um, TV series so I might get it eventually if I can find it for a good price but uh, I'm very happy I've got both of those and a 4k steelbook. Uh, the last little section um, because when I was moving the cabinet around I took a few things out of the cabinet down here where shelf 13, 14 and 15 and I put them over there so um, which was one, two, three, four, which is shelf four. So shelf four's had a bit of a mix around, but I'm going to go to shelf four now and just show you what I've moved from shelf 13 onto shelf four. Yes, that's a way to confuse people. <laughs> so shelf four don't exist now. Well, it does, but it's had a bit of a mix up. Anyway, this is what is on shelf four that I've moved from shelf 13. It does make sense, really. So some of the Blu-rays and the 4Ks that I've moved from the cabinet over there, from shelf 13, over to here now, include the Fast and the Furious uh, 8 movie collection on uh, 4K. We also have the Blues Brothers 4K from HMV. Jaws 4K with a really nice lenticular from HMV. Top Gun, the 4K from HMV. 
plus the lighthouse also from HMV. Colour Out of Space, Blade Runner 2049 HMV exclusive, Planet of the Apes 4K trilogy box set, the X-Men 3 movie uh, collection, first three films, Passengers the 4K collection with the art cards and a digital download and everything like that. Kingsman, The Secret Service, and Jackie Chan's Police Story uh, 1 and 2. Okay, so there we go. So that is shelf 13 done. Uh, we just have two more to do now. Yes, but that's four, isn't it? That's two more to do. We have shelf 14, shelf 15, and then the top shelf, which is mainly TV shows and big box sets. Um, there's a lot up there actually fantastic so hope you enjoyed the video like it by giving it some thumbs up don't forget to subscribe comment and share and I shall see you on shelf 14 uh, very soon bye